Hello there, I am Giant Growth Morith Brown. In the last part, we took on the Sanctuary Boss, the Spectre. Hmm. What was his name again? I forget. The Spectre something. I'll put the name on screen. I feel bad that I forgot the name of the Sauce Sanctuary Boss. But we'll actually come back to the Umi Hall, or whatever it's called, to get a couple items. It's actually gonna be a very short part. And then, uh,. We're gonna go back to um, the underworld, which is where the dinosaurs were, I believe. So, yeah. So yeah. Um, this, since the last part was kind of long, I want to just make a short part, I guess, this time around, just to um, balance it out, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, we just I just back attacked that enemy right there. The um, I forget what his name was. Put another text on. Uh, I'm really bad at remembering stuff right now because I'm having trouble. But I'm gonna put another text of where, over um, on screen, I guess. So there's a super bomb. That's, I don't really. I, that was an item I was looking for. There's actually an IQ capsule and then an a item for uh, poo. And that's what I'm interested in. And of course, the enemies just kind of avoid you because, you know, you beat the sanctuary dungeon and everything, so. Yeah, that's good, I guess. I'm just gonna skip past them, actually. Here's IQ capsule right here. Can we give that to Jeff, actually? Because Jeff, best Jeff can uh, use it. It'll be most, it'll be um, most uh, benefit beneficial to Jeff, honestly. So let's use it on Jeff. Cause IQ went up by one. Cool. Let's go up this ladder here. And now I don't mean to go down it, dang it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I almost made the same mistake there. But I went to the right instead of going back down. <laughs> Here is the Diadem of Kings. Which is an item we can use for Poo, actually. It obviously is defense. Is it already, did I already go to Poo's inventory? No, went to Jeff's inventory. Okay. So let's give that to Poo then. Okay, um, equipped. Let's go to Pooh's menu. Let's go, it's on the other category. The Alama Kings. Okay, so it raises a defense up by 20, which is pretty cool. It goes from 155 to 175. So you can definitely equip that. I think the Diadem is like a crown. So that's pretty cool. Nice little item for Jeff. I mean, not Jeff, but Pooh. Nice item for Pooh. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna make our way back to the Underworld for quick. I'll, sh I'll actually show this. I mean,. This part's already gonna be short enough. So, yeah. I just saw like all run away. Huh? It's kinda laggy right here because there's so many uh, enemies on screen. Or sprites on screen, I guess you could say. So that's why I lagged there for a little bit. You know? That happens with these, you know, older, you know, Nintendo games. Um, I think we go down this ladder. Yeah, we go. Oh, uh, well, I don't think. Hmm. We may be going the right way. I can't even remember. Okay, yeah, we're going the right way. It's, it's all coming back to me now. My memory is coming back to me. Okay, I don't think we'll go up that ladder, but we we'll go up this ladder. That's coming up. Is this a black attack, I guess? Yeah. No, nope, but okay, there's two enemies. Okay. So, spiraling attack. Okay, let's use the conducting. Let's conduct the conducting spirit first and defeat him first. And then the, uncon the uncontrollable sphere is with the item. The enemy I can not remember the name of earlier, like two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Bash, bash, shoot, and bash. There we go. Yeah, Paul Dodge quickly, cool. Okay, we got a mash A right here. It's in the battle, so that helps too. Nice. Nice defense, get 12,695 experience each. Cool. Pick up this louder. Just afford all these fobbies. 
Is there anything down there though? I don't know if we want to go down that ladder actually. Because this is where the sanctuary boss was. So yeah, we're going this way instead. Haha. <laughs> right this way. As Moya would say in like New Super Mario's U or um, New Super Mario's Wii when he got a secret exit, he would say, right this way. Hoo hoo, right this way. So yeah. Let's listen to the melody again. Awesome. Nice. Okay, let's get on the hole. That's a deep hole. We haven't reached the bottom of it yet. Basically. Yeah. So let's see if I can find the safe point again. I think it's over here to the left a little bit. So many dinosaurs. But no we fought a wet no sword last time. And I think this is where we can get another um ultimate weapon uh for Paul this time. It's the um it's the magic frying magic fry pan, I believe. And it, again it like with Pooh's Sword of Kings, it has a one in one hundred twenty eighth chance of like getting Getting it dropping that enemy dropping it. So again, I might just want to get the uh, item off screen for Paula. And Jeff, I forgot to mention that Jeff's broken ten enemy. He fixes it, and then he needs to have um, Jeff needs to have sixty-five IQ to um, fix it. So let me see if I can just check uh, Jeff's IQ right now. Let's see here. His IQ is sixty-eight. So yeah, he's um, can definitely repair it if we get the broken antenna. So yeah. Other than that. Let's just um save I guess. Or I'm gonna do that off screen actually. So yeah, let's spin the my earth my last part. The next part we'll take on more of the underworld and fight some dinosaurs and whatnot. So this has been Dragon Go again. I would like to thank for again again goodbye and I'll see you guys next time my Earthbound Let's Play.